Hitting driver off heel of club. Are you struggling to find the center of your driver and keep catching it off the heel? Well, in this next video, I'm gonna show you why that's happening and give you a fantastic drill to get it sorted fast. Let's get started. Hey, it's Troy from HittingItSolo.com here. So you're hitting your driver off the heel of the club face. Well, in this next part of the video, I'm gonna show you exactly why that's happening. And right at the end of this, I'm gonna give you a simple drill to get it fixed really fast. But before we get started, I thought I might just quickly touch on where the heel of the club is and where you're actually hitting that's causing a lot of your issues. So on the club face here, if you're catching it on the heel of the club, you're hitting it in this area here. This is the toe, this is the heel area here, and this is the reason why you're hitting a lot of really weak shots, losing distance and accuracy. Let's get started. Okay, let's look at um, some of the reasons why you might be catching that driver off the heel of the club, and we're gonna go into some detail about how we can fix that problem. So if you're catching the driver, if you're getting these off the heel, what's mostly going to be happening is you can be hitting weak little fades or pushes out to the right but depending on your path you may even be hitting the ball a fraction left so if you had a path that was more if I'm set up over a ball here if you had a path that was more inside you can still hit the ball off the heel and the ball will actually draw but for most golfers I'm talking about mid to high handicappers if you're catching it off the heel I would say most likely you're coming slightly outside in you're hitting a little weak sort of fade or a push and that would look something like this you're probably coming to the top here and you're probably coming a little bit out like this cutting across and hitting that weak little fade and it'll be catching that heel area there so a few reasons why that might be happening the first one and this is probably less common but it still may be the reason it's something that you're only going to find out if you have a look at yourself on video or in a mirror or get a friend to stand behind you you might be standing simply too close to the ball so if i'm set up over a ball here now i'm just naturally standing here letting my my arms sort of hang down and i've roughly got about a hand and a half with my my fist here away from the grip I'm just standing there nice and relaxed arms are hanging over the ball now you might be standing somewhere like this where I'm very close very cramped into the ball and when you're too close to the ball what will tend to happen is you'll stand up to give you give your arms that room to come down quite up and you'll come over the top cut across that ball which really exposes that heel area of the club so that's the first reason the second one might be you might be doing what's called early extension i will pop a video up above that goes into more detail about early extension but quite simply that means is the posture you've created at address if i could draw a line down here that posture you've created at address as i make my golf swing as you come down you're losing that posture you're lifting up the the shaft here will steepen and quite often again you'll come across the ball and expose that heel area and that's early extension it's very common a lot of golfers aren't too bad with their backswing they might early extend a little bit in the backswing but typically in the downswing is where they'll lift up and that's where you get in trouble there lift up stand up stiffer shaft coming in and that will expose the heel. it can also expose the toe as well it leads to a lot of inconsistent golf shots now the final thing that could be happening at your address position i'll probably show you this from face on it will look a lot better if i'm set up like this if you're set up with your arms very bent in this position here which is an incorrect setup position if you're set up with your arms are very bent what will happen is as you make your swing as you come down to hit the ball you might straighten your arms and when you straighten them i'm set up with my arms bent here when you straighten on the downswing to try and get any sort of power i turn i straighten you'll see my arms will naturally get further away from me the further away from me they are puts them on the outside of the ball and of course look what happened there if i'm set up bent here i swing 
straighten, look where my club head ends up, past the ball, exposing that heel. I'm in a lot of trouble there, so just down towards the camera. So if I've got them bent here, I swing, straighten, look where the club head ends up. It's on the outside of the ball. The only way of hitting it is cutting back through on the inside, exposing that heel. And then you get those weak heel shots off your driver head. So one of the first things I look at, one of the best ways to fix your, your shots coming off the heel of your driver is to really look at what your, your hand, hands are doing in the golf swing. And typically, as I said earlier, with that coming over the top, those hands are getting further away from your, your body and that will expose that here. One of the best ways to fix it I'll show you this from a couple of different angles, is to feel like those hands are closer to your body, particularly in the downswing. So if I'm set up here, if I make a swing, and as I make my downswing, if I feel like my hands are just closer to me on the downswing, what you'll find that does Without even thinking about it, the club comes more on an inside path and it gives me a better opportunity to hit that ball in the center. And it's really just a feeling. I'm gonna show you a really simple drill in just a moment. If you can feel those hands a little bit closer to your body, almost feeling like the, the grip here, the handle, is brushing your thighs. If you can have that sort of sensation in practice, and even when you get to hitting shots, feel like it's closer to these thighs, it gives you more room for the hands and arms to swing down and through, and swing on that in to out path, which gives you a much better chance of hitting the center of the face and not the heel. So from down towards the camera, So if I can just feel like those hands are closer to my thigh, my thigh's on the way down, as I turn, I can just feel like they're close to my thigh. I can come down on that beautiful inside path and swing through. I've got a better chance of catching the center and hitting, the, hitting solid golf shots. So I'm just gonna show you a really quick drill. This one you can practice at home. It's really gonna help you cement this into your game. Okay, here's a really simple drill if you're hitting driver off the heel of the club. And this is fantastic. I recommend you practicing this at home, first of all, without hitting any balls. Then you can work your way up to the driving range. And this will help you out during your games of golf. So for the purpose of this drill, I've just got a club head, a, a wood cover down on the ground here. You can do this with really any sort of object, but you just need some sort of reference point to stop you from getting the incorrect path into the ball. So what I'm gonna do is I've, I've set up this here. I'm gonna take my stance. I just wanna put my driver somewhere where the ball would be. Now for this case here, I'm gonna leave myself about, about two or three inches inside of that. And the great thing I love about this drill, it really, it addresses all the issues. If you're someone that early extends and gets the club further away from them, it addresses all those issues. One, if you're someone that gets the club head too far away from you, getting that outside in path, that over the top move, that gets that heel into play, this addresses that issue as well. So set up to one here, or a couple of inches away from it. Need those arms nice and straight, a nice relaxed setup. Get into our driver set. All we're gonna do is practice making nice swings and all my focus is here is obviously missing that, that wood cover, but feeling like this handle gets closer to my thighs on the downswing, so I get that inside path. So if I can do this, nice and slow. Through like that. And I missed that comfortably. I really felt like this handle was getting closer to my thighs on the way down. Let's do another one. miss that one quite comfortably and that will get your swing on a much better path and make sure that heel is not exposed on that downswing 
Now I'll show you this from another angle just so you get another look at it. Let's put that down there. A couple inches away from it. Nice and easy. Just feel like that handle. I'll do one really slow. Feel like that handle is just a little bit closer to your body. And you can see there the club's able to travel on a nice inside path. And through. And it's really, it's a great exercise because it fixes that path and it fixes early extension as well because there's no way if I want to do it, if I want to early extend lift up, the only way I'm going to hit the ball when I get into that position there is I'm going to crash into this cover. So this kind of, it forces you to maintain your posture better, forces you to maintain the posture, and it forces you to come a little bit inside and hit the golf ball. So it really addresses a lot of those issues of hitting driver off the heel of the club and will help you hit the center a lot more often. Drop a comment down below if you've tried this drill to fix hitting it off the heel of the driver. Maybe you've tried another drill that's worked really well. Maybe you don't agree that this is the best drill to fixing heel shots off the driver. Drop a comment down below or any other questions you've got. I will reply to every comment. There you have it. Now you know how to stop hitting driver off the heel of the club. Now very important before we move on, right above this video here I have a couple of videos that talk about how to get extra distance from your driver. One in particular talks about a key part of the right elbow that's really going to help you out. Really important you check those out. Now at the bottom of this video I have a link to my free three secret moves video that's 100% free make sure you click on that there'll be another link to some further golf instruction make sure you check that out if you have any questions or comments about this video or any other videos you have in general please let me know we'll reply to every single comment once again thanks so much for watching see you next time